Support from uh, community housing, red zone compensation. Just, I have a question myself on this, which is, have we have we provided sufficient money? You know, like in in kind. You know, like we, we, there was a a, a decision to um, transfer um, for. $4.295 million worth of property to compensate for what had been lost in terms of the what, what was taken out by Red Zone. So have we actually got there with this amount of property? Yes, the, the total amount of the list of properties there is 4.296. Um, but uh, following the CHED meeting, four of the parks or park-like properties were taken out. So uh, the, the remaining list won't meet that amount. Yeah. So we're going to have to come back with but another the number. The number is 3.557 when you don't include them. Yes. So without those, it doesn't meet the requirement. So, um, but I thought they were being removed, or are they just left there? Yeah, maybe, maybe if I can make yeah. some comments, because okay. I, I met with Angus and um, other members of the property team yesterday, or a couple of days ago. Um, so the committee did have some concern about the parks that were included in the list, um, particularly considering that list, this list was meant to be a list of properties that could be transferred without, hopefully, a need for consultation, without a need for community board mm. involvement, or any of the issues that might be um, raised by the Reserves Act been involved in, in any of the properties as well. So there were some concerns expressed around these park properties been on the list, and that's the reason that they've been separated out in that separate resolution three. Um, so there's a further report will be coming back on those properties, which I had questioned whether could be brought to this meeting today so that we could get some early resolution on this. I'm advised that the property team needs some further legal advice and there needs to be a full report brought, brought back, which will need to come to the committee and will be coming in July. So that will allow us to resolve that issue. Um, the, the wording of Resolution 3 um, refers to any other properties that may be available so or may be suitable. So that would be about substitutions for these park properties if it turns out that the park properties are not um, suitable or available. Um, we, we just had some concerns at the committee that, you know, a park you would assume by definition would be public open space, something that community boards and communities would have an opinion about, and therefore th there was a concern that they'd appeared on this list of property that might be able to be simply transferred without a need for consultation. So we'll need to wait for that to come back to the committee. Clearly, if the park properties are not suitable to be considered part of this list, we will need to look for substitutions to make up the full amount that needs to be transferred as per the resolution on page 78. Yeah, the, um, the Petrie Park one, um, I couldn't quite relate the picture to the text, so the te this is at the, in the attachment A, but it says site of the former Richmond MSA bowling club located within Petrie Park. The bowling club has now been demolished and the club had no future use for this land. So it didn't sound like you were talking about the whole park, no. but then the picture looks like you are. No, we are. Um, the bowling club's that white area, the two square areas to the bottom, uh, but green space are talking about the whole park. And that's where the committee's concerns were, is that um, the decision has been made to take the park out of the park's network, but that, we don't believe, has been made correctly and with consultation, so we who, want who, to... Sorry, who made that decision? Gr green space. No, no, but they don't get to No, that. and that's exactly what we're saying. So the, the CHIG committee the and ourselves prior to the CHIG committee said we need to revisit how that decision has been yeah. made. Well, it doesn't sound like it's a decision. No. It just sounds like it's a recommendation, a recommendation. A recommendation yeah. from within the organisation. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't been through a process yet. Correct. Yeah. Right. And that's why we're in this, we've but got we, this resolution. Are there two different issues? One is the former bowling club um, area, or is it, or or is that still now regarded as part of Petrie Park? Well, I think when it comes back as a decision, the whole thing needs to be considered. 
So this is exactly what we'll need to but consider it might be when the two report parts, comes back. Might it? Well, it may. Yeah, it, it, may be okay. the, it, it, okay. It's exactly why we have this resolution here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, uh, uh, Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Thank you. Just uh, something I've talked since this mm -hmm. meeting, Angus. There are about 25 yeah. dwellings, yeah. roughly, in there that I can identify. Yeah. How many yeah. would be currently suitable to be lived in? Yeah. Uh, I think all but one of those is actually lived in at the moment. There's not 25 there, though. We'd, we'd okay, I may have to figure wrong. I was trying to identify how many were actually dwellings, but... How many are there? Because I don't get anything like that. There's only um, Northcote Road, Pages Road, Greers Road, um, Curry's Road 4, There's only five dwellings there. Okay. All, all those are power road properties, uh, just empty sections. Mm. And I think all but one of those five um, are suitable to be lived in and are being lived in. How many, sorry? All, all, four, four of them. Four of them. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a, it, I mean, it's just, um, I mean, I'll, I'll, we'll wait for the report back, mm. but I just, I just thought that some of these sites didn't look like that they would have the value that's been attached to them. But, you know, that's, I guess, up to the... I mean, we'll, we'll want to see that the resolution is, is, is um, met, met, you know, in terms of the numbers. So the numbers will have to add up at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm. All right. So um, do you, um, are you moving yeah, the, I'm happy to the move motion? Up. Seconder? Glenn? Yeah. Is there any discussion? Yani. Yeah, I mean... I know we want to get more information back, but some, something like Petrie Park, I don't know why we'd keep it on the list. Um, I just don't think we should be getting rid of green space uh, in this way. So No, it's not. I don't think that's that well, All of those are seeker yeah. further report on the park properties listed below and any other right. properties that so, may be suitable. So, yeah. it, it so what I just wanted to know was when that report comes back, or I guess what I would strongly encourage is that we actually look at not just the value of getting rid of those pieces no, no, of no, land, no, but no, no, that's the point. We've the agreed that, Yanni, Yanni, it's all been discussed at the um, CHED committee. Come on, it, is not, it is not the intention to include these parts properties. We've asked for further work to be done. They may come back, and I know that the Petrie Park um, residents in that area are very um, uh, concerned about seeing that park actually being redeveloped as a proper park for their area. So, right. you know, this is not a decision to, to, to do anything with the park sites, but also to look at them carefully. And as I say, there are two components to that Petrie Park. One is the former bowling club site. So, um, you know, it's... Uh, also the same for Beverly Park. Mm. Yes, mm. yes, um, exactly the same. So, exactly that's great. Same. So, we're going to get a holistic report back around the future options yes. for those yeah. sites. Yes. Well, n no, you, you'll, get, you'll get a report back that talks about the requirements around consultation in terms of the Local Government Act and decision making. No, 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 no. I think, it won't I think be a full options report on what you can do with those properties. Well, then, yeah, no, well, then okay. we'll just take them off the list and deal with them separately. So no, can you remove idea. Beverly Park and Petrie Park from this? We will, we will get a, a different mechanism for reporting if that's the case, because um, that is not the intention, I think, from the CHED committee. Yes, yeah, certainly the, the comments that were made at the meeting that discussed this list in the beginning, there is no intention on the part of the committee to be selling any parks that are in current public use, that are public open space, that might be subject to the Reserves Act, where we'd fully expect the community and the community Absolutely. board to be interested. Um, I w if we're going to make a decision to remove them, as I say, I'd hope to be able to do that today. I think we need to do that on good advice. We need to know exactly what it is that's been considered. But there's no intention from the comments that were made at the initial committee meeting to be removing any parks from the network as part of this decision, yeah. um, or quite possibly at all. So, so um, I, I, I'm just going to take them off the list yeah. because, yeah. Um, and and then I think that um, staff are going to have to work with your committee. As a, in terms of a process for actually addressing some park issues. So, it, it, and, and it's a separate issue. So there are two issues that come up as a result of that. One is the, the issue around the parks and how they ended up on the list and how we deal with those. Mm. But the second is that there's a quantum of funds that are required to fulfil the original resolution on page 78 that will not be met. Numbers. 
add the numbers together. That will not be met with these properties removed from the list. So we also need to find substitutions for the same value yeah. so that we can meet the transfer requirement. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can we take also Avonside Drive off, please? So, so, so can we come back? My understanding from the parks unit, and we'll, we'll talk parks with property, is that it was not green space. So some of this land was where they'd brought uh, neighbouring properties to land bank, potentially yeah. for future use, or um, in two cases it was areas that were not green space but were bowling clubs. In another area it was that um, had some er extra land for... Um, potential driveways. So the parks um, area, which I checked with, said none of, none of this land was actually current green space at all. So um, so it's not intended to reduce So I understand that, but network. Avonside Drive, we've got a lake in the middle of Avonside Drive at the moment. We've got red zone infrastructure and plans that we still haven't worked through what we're going to do. And depending on what the outcome is there, it actually may be quite strategic to put an enhanced access way where this property is. But we don't know that. We're not going to know that for yeah, until that work is done. So, you know, that's what properties. I can't see any sense in, in yes. transferring that okay. site. Could we take, could we, could we just r remove the two, the, 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 remove that Sorry, part of the thing and change the resolution so it seeks a further report on any other properties that may be suitable. So that way we're, we're, we're just removing that because I agree with Yani on um, on this um, point because uh, we have asked that we don't um, take action on land that is contiguous to red zone land um, and we made that quite clear in an earlier resolution in relation to the use of Porra Park which is right slap bang in the middle of um, residential red zone because there are a lot of issues that we're going to have to address as a city in relation to infrastructure, access, all of those issues in relation to the residential red zone in terms of future use. So I don't think it's appropriate to transfer that to the housing portfolio at a time um, that we've asked for contiguous land to the residential red zone to be treated quite, quite independently. So. Yeah. Is that all right? So, so are, are, are the mover and second are comfortable with the change? Where we've ended up, I mean, I agree that we need to seek the further report on properties that may be suitable, but we still, so as it stands at the moment, there's nothing in this resolution that deals with the park's properties any differently than the rest of the list. So as this stands at the moment, we've given the general managers the ability to make all decisions necessary, including on these park properties. So if we're removing... Here are the park properties. No. So they're the ones in the original option three. So is there something in the resolution that shows that they're gone though? Yeah, that's not there. None of the none of the properties are listed. It says seek a further. Oh, so they're actually removed. So they're removed completely. Yep. No, that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. Is it 740 that we need to meet? Was that? I thought the resolution of the council was lower than that. So 739 was the value of the parks properties, the ones that we've removed. Yes, I know, but I thought that the resolution, the original resolution, that the council resolution was compensation of 4.295 million. Yep. Yep. And then yep. so you take out that, and I think it leaves about yep. 740 short for so you left with Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried.